Hey Simmers Animal Lovers, it's Amber the Rescue Simmer and this is season two of the Shelter Play Along. Thank you so much for popping in with me. Caleb and Amy are getting some great time right before Caleb's last day of school. He is pampering Lionel. So this is the last day actually that he is going to be a child. Caleb not only is going to age up into a team, it feels like it's been so long. Oh boy, you are late. <laughs> Amy and Hugo both are going to age up because they are young adults right now and they're about to have a teen. So they're going to be aging up into adults at a family birthday party that I have set today after school right around five. While Caleb is in school, I definitely want to go ahead and have not family. Let's have the volunteers come over and they're going to help out at the shelter. Both Hugo and Amy's volunteers are going to be coming over. Oh, poor little Woody. He is so lonely. Poor Pixel. Both Pixel and Woody come to us from actually one of you guys' Sims, who was a good Samaritan, found and rescued a pregnant mama pity who had some puppies with some ooh, very interesting mix, I will say. Very interesting mixes. Oh, hi, Amy. <laughs> She's chilling and hanging out with the dogs. I actually want her and Hugo to go rescuing a cat. In fact, we might just take Amy since Amy has such a great relationship with cats, but she's being super sweet to Pixel right now. I do want to get one more cat in because you guys, we are going to be getting ready to be a full house. So not only are we going to have our two general population dogs, two general population cats after today, I'm hoping, but we are also going to have our foster animal who is a sim self of a real life dog that is available for adoption. Just as a reminder, there were three dogs that we had the choice to vote from to become our foster, to be able to follow their story from now until they become adopted in real life from their actual shelters. Our first choice was Hans of Coastal German Shepherds Rescue. In Orange County, California, Hans was a good old boy. He was about one to two years old, learning a lot, needing to work a little bit on his manners. Mimi was our sweet and loyal girl, about six years old. Remember, she had had an owner that passed away in a car crash. So she was looking really at a second chance for a family that would love her so much. And of course, we had our last girl, Leah, who is not a German Shepherd. She is a Belgian Malinois mix. She was actually pulled by animal control from being in a really bad situation. She was almost feral, terrified of people, but the great folks at Coastal German Shepherds Rescue have been able to work with her through their behaviorists and their amazing foster homes. And while she is still very naturally timid, she has overcome so much and has become such a happy girl within her foster home, feeling a little bit safer around people. All of these guys are absolutely beautiful and I would be happy to play with any of them, but you'll have to stick around to the end of the episode to see who is our amazing foster that we get to play along with. We'll go ahead and let the shelter volunteers take on over while we have Amy go down to the beach to see if she can rescue a cat. I want our cat shelter full. I want our dog kennels as full as can be so that we are really meeting the purpose of this shelter. The dog that we're gonna be bringing in, any foster that we're gonna be bringing in to our home, I wanna make sure that we have a good, calm place to be able to do that with. And bringing an animal in to sort of drop them off and go rescue another animal can be a little bit tumultuous. It's not the greatest transition. And I want to make sure that we're modeling good behavior for that. Oh my gosh, it's Fidget. Hi, Fidget. You ran away from us last time, I think. Um, I don't remember if it was you because this Fidget doesn't have a tail. And I think the last one might have. Fidget, you're asleep. Please wake up. Your destiny awaits my gal, guy, person. Well, uh, not person. It's a cat. Oh, you're hungry, Fidget. We can give you some food. Um, let's do a friendliest introduction. Come on, Fidget. I know I sound kind of panicky, but oh, you guys know in this series, me rescuing cats never goes well. So we're going to see, yep, we're going to place on that counter and that just canceled the interaction. Perfect. Love that for us. Yes. Wonderful. We'll just say that she was shy. You know, she's a stray. He, she, this cat. You're an adult female. Okay, perfect. Fidget is a female. Ooh, let's brush her that little kind of fuzzy ball that she has means that she's hairy. Ooh, she's also friendly or affectionate, I think, because that's what the little cat head with a little love means. So I already know two of her traits. That's awesome. And I'm gonna say it's just because Amy has so much experience 
And she's so perceptive with these guys. Yes, let's adopt. Adopt Fidget. Don't, don't run away. Fidget. Oh, please. You're running away from the rest of your life. Yes, we want to adopt Fidget. Okay. So Fidget, uh, because of her coat pattern and her little bobtail is for sure uh, a Japanese bobtail. That body type and coat type only generates for Japanese bobtails. I happen to know within this game because I spend, huh, you guys, far too much time playing cats and dogs. I love every minute of it, but like, it's a problem for me at this point, a great problem. So what I would actually like to do, uh, because she is a Japanese bobtail and Japanese cherry blossoms are so beautiful, I'd love to call her Blossom. What a sweet girl. Can we see anything about Fidget? She is fluffy, she is affectionate, and she's frisky. Oh my gosh, that would be such an amazing family cat. Fluffy might be a little bit much to deal with, but when you have pets, you know that there's gonna be hair. That's what vacuum cleaners are for. Oh, actually, her name's not Fidget anymore, it's Blossom. Look at me. Ooh, Hugo is baking away while we are waiting for Amy to get Blossom over to her spay and neuter surgery because that definitely has to happen. He has already made one cake. Amy made another one this morning. All three of them are going to have their own cakes. We're going to have the birthday party here just to make things easy, make things simple. Oh my gosh, Amy's going through the house. Um, I think maybe she wanted to show Hugo. She's like, hey, look what I got, honey. And he's like, that's amazing. Cool, I'm just baking away. We are ready to begin spaying Blossom so that Blossom can get put in a surgery kennel, get recovered from her surgery, and we can get her into the cat house with Lionel. Yes, Blossom has been spayed. Let's get her picked up because I have a sneaking suspicion that she is starving. All right, cute little Blossom. This is gonna be your home for like the next day. What is... Hey, Amy, I think I have a crush on George Cahill. Do you think it's worth a try? Uh, yeah. Absolutely, I do. That is actually one of your Sims that you uploaded for us. And her story was that she kind of led a not great life. She cheated and swindled people and really angered everybody around her and drove everyone away. And then she adopted from us because she was looking for companionship. Um, so she adopted a cat and a dog from us. Looks like she's looking for love. Yay, Stellar Caleb can surely enjoy the weekend knowing he's one of the top students at Langram Elementary. Perhaps he should make some time for some extra credit assignments just in case. Uh, no thanks, he is about to age up. We don't need no stinking extra credit. I am super excited for Caleb. This feels like it's been a long time coming for him and for the Nunezes just to have a teen in the house. I'm excited to go to high school with him. I actually would be really excited to see if maybe we can take a pet with us uh, to school. I don't know how that's gonna work, but I haven't seen anyone try it. And I have played the high school gameplay in my own personal game. So I know a little bit of how it works, but I've never tried that. Caleb is grabbing some last minute play before the family birthday party begins. There are a few friends that are gonna be coming. Oh, that reminds me. I am going to be creating some Sims for Caleb to meet in school, in high school. Uh, but if you guys want to upload high schoolers for him to interact with, maybe um, like a first crush, first girlfriend, first boyfriend, we'll see. Um, if you guys want to upload some, then that would be amazing. Just upload to that hashtag ERS shelter play along. For the longest time, I had an underscore in there, except you can't have an underscore in the gallery hashtags. You guys, I have never done a birthday party as a gold event like I have now. So, ooh, birthday party's gonna begin. Yes, let's start. So we're gonna see what we have to do. Okay, our main goal is to blow out the candles. We want to tell jokes, have Sims dance at the same time and eat food. Why don't we eat some sea bass? That should definitely get us. Some of those points, I feel like we should wait maybe until the end to blow out candles. Oh, look at how cute everybody looks. Hugo is all spiffed up. I love that for him. Why is Caleb not all spiffed up? Oh, he's getting into it. Oh my God, he's so cute. Okay, I'm not quite sure. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> Our friends are coming. <laughs> I was afraid that nobody was going to show up and that they, it was just going to be like a birthday party between the three of them, which is fine. You know, they love each other, but just would be nice if someone else would show up. <gasps> oh, hi, Penny. Let's thank her for coming. Let's have Caleb joke with CJ about elephants. Now, she was not our biggest fan last time. I was just hoping that maybe that was a 
glitch, but we'll see. All right, bud. Let's do this. The setup, the punchline. <laughs> Rolling on the floor laughing, Caleb is doling out the sass and feels invincible. Would it be safe to say that he likes comedy? I think so. He could be a really funny guy. Oh, it's grandma. Okay, so along with everybody in our household aging up, I also had to age up the parents. So this is Grandma Carmen, who is in her party where she only has this semi-permanent color in her hair because I felt like she would be like the fun grandma for her party look. We also have Vernon here, who is aged up and looking very Vernon-like. Oh no, oh my gosh, this is Manny not Vernon. I am so sorry. <laughs> Manny has toned down in his older years. So he had a big farm. He's taken that back a little bit. He doesn't have so many plants. He doesn't have as many animals. Oh, and Sophie's here. Hi, Sophie. We're going to turn on some backyard music. We're going to see if anybody just wants to dance with us. Grandma, did you want to? No, they don't want to dance. Okay. Well, we're just sort of jamming out to our own birthday party. <laughs> and oh, I swear if that's the cake. Oh, it's not. Oh, thank goodness. Who? Yes. <gasps> yes. Okay, so Hugo aged up. He is now an adult, fully an adult out there in the world. Amy is next. I cannot wait. She is another stage older, another stage wiser. Awesome. All right, so our fully adult Amy and Hugo. Last but certainly not least is Caleb. Oh my gosh, you guys, I tried to get a screenshot. There's really no good angle, but teenagedom, romantic travails, sweaty gym sports, and hormonal upheavals await. Best buckle those boots. The ride starts here. Okay, guys, so he has been a cat lover. Let's see what else he gets. Oh my gosh, he's a dog lover. <laughs> I can't write this. Okay, so it looks like he's, uh, he's, equally liking both. So there are 16 aspirations right now if you have all the packs that I do. So I'm gonna be using a random number generator. It looks like we got 12. Oh, popularity, that's an awesome one. So there are seven under this. I'm gonna say that we're not gonna do the vampire trait, especially with his character traits. Gonna wanna be taking over the shelter and that would be incredibly hard to do if he were a vampire. We'll do one through six. Three, he wants to be a party animal. <laughs> he wants to throw and attend amazing parties. You know what, as a teen, I did not see him as a rebel or somebody that wanted to have like wild parties, but you know what, it's teenhood, time to experiment. <gasps> Oh my goodness, you guys, he is so handsome. Okay, so he wants to have, he already has three friends. Actually, popularity was a great thing for him. That was amazing because he just knows so many people. He wants to introduce himself to 10 Sims. Um, can he introduce himself to you? So he's just saying hi to Sophie. Oh, buddy, I feel like maybe I need to help you out in the style compartment. In fact, let's go in to create a sim. Alrighty guys, now that we're here, let's take a look at him. I think he looks really, really cute. Okay, so he's got his nice red hair, his beautiful green eyes as always, so looks just like his mom, but I feel like his face shape is very much his dad. Definitely has his mom's eyes, but he has his dad's face shape, cheeks, all that. I also wanted to take a look at the orientation. I actually wanted to set his romantic attraction. So I was actually looking up the statistic and it looks like in the US, anywhere from about eight to 10% say that teenagers who take the surveys identify as experimenting with their sexuality. It may be a little bit higher, it may be a little bit lower, but I think 10% is a nice even number to be able to look at. I am also gonna be using a random number generator for this. So I'll be setting it for one to 10. I'm gonna say that if we land on the number seven, then he's attracted to men. If it is any of the other numbers, then we're gonna say that he is heterosexual and we will re-roll when he becomes a young adult as well. So we got a seven. Okay, so Caleb is attracted to men. So within about the eight to 10% of students that report not being heterosexual, there tends to be a slightly higher number of male students who report being bisexual or open to exploring other sexualities rather than just specifically being gay. So we're we're gonna set the odds of being exclusively attracted to men 
at a four out of 10. And honestly, I think that that might be a little bit generous. All right, so I am generating now and I got a two. <laughs> so because it's between the numbers one and four, he is exclusively attracted to men at this time. So no, we are not exploring romantically right now. And his ideal mess around partner would be a man. So guys, if you do have any interest in uploading Sims for Caleb to be friends, to be romantic partners, to be enemies with, you know, whatever you want to do, if it is a romantic interest, just know that Caleb is interested in men. Okay. So Caleb, wow. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was his party wear. This is everyday wear. Um, very confused. Uh, let's, let's get him some like actual clothes. So Caleb wants to be the life of the party. He's a cat lover. He's a dog lover. He actually aged up with the loud trait, uh, because he was going through a phase at the time. So I think he's just sort of really wanting to express himself. Oh my gosh, this has a little fox on it. <laughs> It looks very put together, very nice. This looks like something his mother could have knitted him. And I feel like he has such a soft spot for his mom and dad. Like he's just a good boy. He's just a good kid. I love this. Yeah, I think it plays really well off of his skin tone. That's our everyday. Oh, that's really cool. But I, uh, I, I got to tell you guys, I do not like see-through stuff for minors. Like that is just, it's a level of creepy I can't get past. This looks so cool. I love that so much. I love that blazer, but we're going to change the pants. That's, that's got to happen. I'm going to borrow these pants from my wedding stories. I think that that matches this blazer way, way better. Buddy, I cannot let you go to gym like that, but I can let you go to gym like that. I really love this shirt or I love this look. It's just that again, this is see-through underneath. We can pretend like it's not though. For any minor, I don't think that we should be having see-through clothing. Like, especially when the expectation is that they're going to be wearing these to school and school events. Like, I don't think that that's appropriate in any way. Call me a fuddy-duddy. I'm sorry. A little bit of cats and dogs for his hot weather wear. And I think I'm good with this for his cold weather wear. So guys, this is Caleb. Oh my gosh. Back at the park. Look at Hugo breaking this down. <laughs> Oh man, Hugo and Amy are cutting a rug. This door is really inconveniently placed, by the way. We have a gold party event, like it's it's gold level. So I think it's okay, let's end this early. This party is fizzling out and winding down. So I'm just gonna send everybody to bed and I will see you in the morning and we will get our foster animal moved in. Alrighty guys, it is Saturday morning. The Nunezes are just talking about everything that has to happen throughout the day. Oh no, Amy, are you feeling sick? She's feeling cooped up. Okay, let's get her outside a little bit. I think we're gonna have Amy and Hugo do the shelter stuff. And I actually would like Caleb to take the lead when it comes to our foster. So while Caleb is helping out, I'm gonna meet you guys in create a sim to be able to reveal our winner. We had our three to vote on, Hans, Mimi, and Leah. And I am pleased to announce that Leah is our voting winner. You guys voted. She won by a hair. It was so close. I cannot wait to play with her and have Caleb guide her through her world with him to build even more of that trust and get her ready for her forever home. Look at her so patiently waiting. She is um, not acting like I think real Leah would. Leah is a Belgian Malinois who is a younger gal. Uh, so she's very energetic. She's also very timid. So she was a feral dog or a, a more feral dog. So living inside was a new experience for her. The anxiety that she felt with new situations and like everything was new is going to up her need for exercise. So very first, we're gonna pet her. We're just gonna let her know that everything is okay. She was sniffing there for a minute. Yeah, like right there, she's very interested to know what everything is. Make sure that nothing is gonna hurt her. This is a new environment for her. Oh, Caleb, that's so awesome. We're gonna give her some treats just to let her know, oh, awesome, that she is okay, that she is safe here that we have good things for her. And we're gonna give her a little bit of a rough house. Oh, we've got some barking going on, probably letting off some steam, just some built up tension for her. And right now guys, 
on this Saturday morning with our newly aged up family, newly aged up Caleb, who is waiting to start high school. After the summer passes, we're gonna let him get Leah acclimated. Thank you guys so much for watching and playing along. Aww. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next one. In the meantime, happy simming.